Tinasi, you my hero. C'est le son du jeu. Welcome back, Kings family, to another film review. Yes, this is how tight end you come in. Back to back, four star tight ends committing. Here we got with, uh, <clears throat> with Brock, 6'3, 225 pounds from Leo, Indiana. He's more of that receiving threat of a tight end. And you could just see on his tape, he has instant acceleration. That's something I really like about him. He's going to be good and deep here on this post, but he's definitely a receiving threat tight end. While we're definitely going to get into some of his blocks, he's going to be a pass catcher here. What I love about him is. As soon as he catches the ball, one is always catches away from his body. But as soon as he catches the ball, you can see it's just a little bit more juice to him. You could say, oh, he might not be playing the fastest people in Indiana. But when you just look at him individually, he got some moves. He got some sauce. Got some moves, got some sauce, and got that juice easy two by two set. You're gonna have the wheel to the post here. Now he off to the races. So he's the receiving tight end. He got them ball skills, but I ain't gonna lie, his DN tape is fucked for real it's disgusting i ain't gonna lie and these type of ball skills and game changing plays right here it, this is probably my favorite play on tape here he is busting um bursting through this little quick little uh flat to the running back get him out there on a the flare hands up uh, snatch that bit to the crib i mean one that's that quarterback throwing that ball with some velocity you're really close to him that's like four yards of separation right there and to get your hands up like the ball skills is there that's a playmaker uh, out there, and he's a true football player. He'll get out there, run routes with you, uh, or run routes around you. I'm, I can't wait to break down some of his route running. He has some nice post curls and stuff like that going in. But this is a game changing play, right? Here. Yo, shout out the whoever they OC is because this is fun, and they've done it a couple times on tape where they got Brock motion in here. This is basically a, a hook and lateral. They get this little curl here, mm, pitch it on, and now you can see his full straight line speed. Uh, this is why I'm actually highlighting this play because, yeah, he gets a head start on everybody, but now you can see it's instant speed. As soon as he gets that ball, he's bursting down. He has great stride length. His feet aren't aren't uh, landing on the ground. They're striking it, which is great to see. Um, but, again, look at that boy, 6'3", 225. He don't move like that, bro. Like, he moving. This this is this is a juiced-up tight end right here. Little wing T, whatever they got going on here. You got basically three running backs in the backfield. Here he is isolated outside. Little stutter and go. Uh, eyes back to the quarterback, sells it. That DB was in bail technique, bit it because of that. Eyes back to the quarterback, then it was over. That ball's a little late and high, but head top. Mm. Again, got the movement skills. You're 6'3, 225. You should be head topping, but I, I love it. Hands away from the body at all times. Every time you see him pluck a ball, it's really hard to get to, to see it make it to his chest. Uh, so good movement skills. He could run routes on the outside. It reminds me when I was watching Elijah Royo's tape, Elijah Lofton's tape. A lot of these tight ends can get out there and just run route routes. Bro, I am not playing about this man DN tape, bro. Like legit, <laughs> that boy is a baller. Like here, <laughs> I'll just let it play through, bro. Oh my god, getting that ass smashed. <clears throat> yeah, that that boy a baller. He a football player. He a football two by two set. He played a lot of outside receiver. I ain't gonna lie. He's in the slot a couple times, but a lot of his plays, you know, he's running that big post uh from the outside or these tunnel screens here. 
because you can see once he gets the ball move going, uh, he's fluid, right? You got everybody here on the move. Great job here from his out his <clears throat> his slot receiver that went out. He got that corner, and then he just literally wo- wo- jogged up the hash. Very explosive threat, especially after the catch. Ain't nobody want to tackle that boy anyway. Very natural pass catcher. Love watching some of this tape. Wish the cameraman would have just, you know, a little bit. So I could have seen how much steps it took to take him. Or I could have seen what leg he used to drop weight. Um, but it gets out pretty fluid. It's a little comeback. But again, ball's high. Catches everything with his hands. Take that picture. It's very solid, very fluent pass catcher. But I love to see the breakdown at the top of that comeback. Um, but again, he's creating that separation. He's catching everything away from his body. Um, you know, your prototypical big you know, jumbo receiver as a receiving threat tight end that's taking the lead by storm. And as much as we love big guys running downfield, catching touchdowns, (laughs) Mario Cristobal is our head coach. So you better block or else you ain't playing. We've already seen, not going to make no names, but we've already seen that he ain't blocking, he ain't playing. Uh, So here is in the wing, which is somewhere our tight ends are always coming across, right? Love the way he finishes his block, makes contact, continues to drive his legs, drive, 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 drive until he finishes them off. So, Got to play with that physicality. You, we love, we love the ones who can go out there and score at tight end. But you would not play for Mario Cristobal if you don't have this type of dog mentality in the blocking game. So nice to see that it shows up and flashes throughout tape. A lot of people love this play. You know, a hitch versus soft coverage here. Ball's coming. These guys are step step away. So he just mm, inside. Then the instant acceleration. This is something that really separates him from other tight end prospects. Is he really do got a good first step. You see it on defensive line when he shoots off that ball. Instant acceleration once he starts to get moving. Beating angles. He's an impressive athlete. I'm not going to lie. I really do like his instant acceleration. Is he the fastest dude in the world? No, um, but he's fast, and he's actually able to get up to his full speed uh, relatively quickly. I think maybe his strides uh, can help cover it even more ground um, as he continues to grow because he's only 17. Uh, so he he could be at campus like six five. He's six three right now. I mean, shh, this this the side the sky, excuse me, is the limit for him. Love the creativity on these plays. Uh, we've seen a couple of them, you know, dating back to our previous coordinators. But basically, you just want to get all the action going right. And here he is in line, shooting off the ball, just you know, dragging across, running his little mesh, and float that out again. All hands away from his body. I'm not going to hold you. This is a poor little Timmy at Kona, right? I'm, I'm not going to hold you. But love the way he step gets creates uh, – eliminates that uh, separation, steps on his toes when he's making that post, erases that cushion, erases that cushion. Now it's over with. Now he's just waiting on the ball. Again, the quarterback's getting hit, so the ball's a little late. Ball's a little low. Great concentration. He's able to uh, <clears throat> hang on to it as this guy's trying to fight through. Now he just turns up field, easy touchdown. Um, but again, pro little Timmy at Kona, but love him eliminating that cu- that cushion, stepping on his toes. Ball's a little late. Quarterback had a lot of issues going on, as you can see. Can't blame that boy, but getting knocked out. Way to fight through it. Corner was trying to corner was trying to fight through with the hands late. Way to hang on to it, easy touchdown. I mean, let's get it. I mean, this guy's gonna stretch the field. 1v1 on the back side. You see the trips here. Everybody named Mama should have known they was going to number nine. Yeah, I know this corner knew it. Just a back shoulder fade. Corner's not in a bad position, but it's a back shoulder ball. Easy. Make the adjustment. Go through. So good ball placement here from the quarterback back shoulder. Not a good, uh, not bad coverage. He's on hip. Probably could have still got did in, but quarterback made it easier for him. Here he is back in line. Uh, they're doing that same little goal line play where they're trying to get that everybody flowing right. They're going to hit him backside here and have everybody release for him. So it's a nice little play here, but immediately you had a defender closing in. So what are you going to do in that phone booth? You know, are you a tight end that you can only use your body? Or can you catch that ball? And again, like we talked about, instantly accelerate. He catch that ball. He upfield. I mean, bro, buddy eating straight turf right now. What you have for lunch, dinner, boy? Straight turf. Get that. <laughs> catch that ball. Secure it. One foot up front. Now he's going fast. So, again, I love the instant acceleration. He can make plays after the catch. He's going to be a yak monster at tight end. Uh, that's why they're using him exactly this way in high school. Here he is, the H-back motioning over, and we talked about it. You're not playing for Coach Cristobal uh, and Coach Whittle if uh, if you're not physical at tight end. So, we love to see this firing off. Again, you still see that instant pop. 
Watch when he shoot there. All right, man. <clears throat> Chill a little ass out my face, my boy. Little boy. Natural route runner. Love the fluidity. Here he is on the outside trips here. So you're going to have the speed out from slot, and you're going to have their number three receiver go inside. It's a pretty co good concept. You want that number two defender to follow that out route, which is going to open up this window right here for this post curl. So love the post curl here. Nice, smooth. Takes his stops, gets back down. So they have him going 12 to 10. Notice how he comes back to the football. That's what helps you get your yards after the catch. You, you created two more yards of separation. If you would have just stayed here, this guy, this is the catch and tackle immediately. This allows you to guess what? Turn up field and get more yards. So love that. 12 back to 10. He ran it back to 10. Immediately upfield. Instant acceleration. Getting more yards. Getting more yards. Very natural in the route running. Very natural as a pass catcher. Um, it, this is just a great get. I mean, we're, we're killing them. We're going to Ohio. Now we're going to Indiana. Like, you know, we just invading the Big Ten for all they big tight ends, all they big time playmakers. But love this get for the Kings, man. Like and subscribe. Uh, let's go.